YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a video on a lovely fisherman sweater. You saw me wear this in a video a few weeks ago. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. So a few weeks ago, I was wearing this sweater in a video and it caused a bit of a stir. A lot of people reached out to me asking where to get it. Uh, and uh, so I thought I'd do a video on it basically. So it's a, it's a fisherman sweater from a company called Bleu de Chouf. Now, if you don't know Bleu de Chouf, they're a French company that primarily do bags. They do men's and women's bags. I've done a few videos on them before and you may have seen other YouTubers do videos on them as well. They've most recently started doing chore coats and then this is really brand new. Now, this isn't made by Bleu de Chouf essentially in their own factories. This is made by a company in France, uh, in Normandy actually, that has been doing fisherman sweaters or sweaters like this uh, for a long, long time. So they're very much used to it. So it's an in-house family run company that makes this, hand stitch this all in France. Uh, and then Bleu de Chouf must have a deal or, or sell it or I don't know how it works, but it's it's, it's handmade in France, 100% wool as well. And it's a, what they call marine grade uh, weight. So it's very, very heavy. It's a 1.3 kilograms per meter squared. So do the math on that. It's actually quite heavy. And it's a it's a chunky, chunky monkey, this thing. So uh, I don't know why I said chunky monkey, but anyway, it's a heavy, it's a heavy, heavy thing. I wore this to the, uh, the office the other day. Fantastic with a, a coat over it. I wore the, um, the Ironheart um, deck jacket over the top and it was just lovely. Now, if we think about the history of the, um, the seaman sweater or the fisherman sweater, I was looking into this and they're primarily Irish and they're more, the cable is more pronounced. It's a, you know, it's got a wavy cable down there and they're, they are also called an Aran sweater. Now this looks very, very different from a fisherman sweater if you actually look it up. So this is called the Kankau Seaman Sweater. Now, doing a bit of research, I was trying to find where this kind of originated from. So Kankau is a place in France and uh, in the whole region, they were known for making sweaters that looked like this. Seaman sweaters, these, one, these ones and, and any seaman sweater historically were sort of put together by the seamen's uh, wives as well when they were out at sea. So this one is very much from that region, the Kankau region. Uh, it looks very much like a World War II US Navy seaman sweater as well, but I am told that the region of Kankau is known for making these looking ones. And I've looked up other brands, there are other brands out there that make a Kankau seaman sweater, so it must be a known thing from that area that this is what they look like. So I touched on the specs just a minute ago, but yeah, it's 100% cotton, it's 100% OEKO certified cotton, so that, I don't I have to look that up, it's some kind of certification on the cotton. The weight, yeah, as I said, the weight, this is heavy. This is a hefty old uh, old thing. It's 1.3 kilograms per meter square. So it's very, very heavy jumper. It's chunky, you wear it, you know you're wearing it, right? If you want to talk about the sizing, because these are, in my eyes, were kind of chunky and oversized and baggy, I went for a medium. I would usually go for a large in a lot of things, right? But I went for a medium. and. I know I always forget to put my measurements on my videos. So I've just done the measurements. I'm roughly a f just over a 40 inch chest. I'm six foot tall. I'm about 80 kilograms uh, in weight. Um, and yeah, a medium fits me absolutely perfect. You'll see it in the videos here that it just looks, uh, feels good. I think any larger and it would just be too large for me, especially the way these are made with their, um, with their cuffs here, they're very long. So, I mean, I couldn't really wear a watch the other day when I wore this to work because it goes well over my my, my arms and, and sort of, it's because it's so chunky and heavy, it pushes down on my watch. Uh, and you know from other videos, I don't really like that. So medium for me fits just perfectly. So if I've totally butchered this, I know there's experts out there that like, uh, that know everything World War II uh, issue, etc. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know the history of the Kankau sweater and how it, why is it different to the US Navy World War II Siemens uh, sweater because it looks very much the same. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, you experts out there. Uh, one thing is for sure, it's a fantastic sweater. It is built to last. It's very, very sturdy. It's very, very heavy. And I'm uh, uh, I'm getting a lot of compliments. This is a, this is something you get a lot of compliments on. I got a lot of compliments. I got a lot of people looking me up and down. Uh, I was wearing this with my Ironheart um, uh, denim jeans and I was also wearing my new Viberg boots and just looked on point. Uh, these are at the moment they're sold out because they've been very popular. Uh, they are on pre-order so you can still go to the website and actually order it but they become available again on the 2nd of February next year I believe. Uh, so pricing wise they're about 170 pounds and they're about 200 US dollars which I think for something handmade in France 
uh, of this kind of nature, this kind of quality is actually a pretty good deal. Um, I kind of like that small business feel of it as well in terms of a small family run business that have been doing this for many, many years, not just uh, any average Joe high street store that are putting together you know, a, a jumper and selling it and making it in China and selling it for the same price. So this is all made in France, very much sustainable. Uh, and yeah, you'll get your money's worth on this one. That's going to be it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. I put this video together because a lot of people wanted to uh, know about this and where to get it from. So I've put all the links down below. Uh, go there, pre-order it if you want. Uh, have a look. They're great, great, great. Drop any questions you have down below. I know it might be difficult with sizing on this, but I hope I gave you the right idea about sizing but feel free to reach out if you need any more uh, info on sizing uh, and with all that being said i hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one